therapist, physical therapist, on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Hanny, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, the name of this video is, what is causing your shoulder pain? Tendonitis? bursitis, how to know. Sure. We got a whole series of videos that we're kind of talking about what is your shoulder pain. Sure. Now with tendonitis and bursitis, they often present very similar. Mm -hmm. um, similar pain, similar actions, similar mm -hmm. movements. Right. So it's often the result of impingement. We've already did a video on impingement, but we'll kind of repeat a little bit what's sure. going on here. So first let's talk about the tendon, Brad. This right here, we got tape over the super stabonatus tendon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mike, that came out a little bit rough. And uh, it actually can get pinched or impinged uh, right below uh, the ah, acromion there. Right where my finger is. It's My finger is being pinched. Same thing with that tendon. It can also get pinched under this ligament here. Sure. After time, it can get irritated. It can get wore down, and it can become tendonitis. Also in this area is the bursa. The bursa is a fluid-filled sac that helps glide the bones uh, on each other, basically. Well, yeah, it actually helps prevent the tendon from wearing out on one side. It, it right. acts as a lubricant layer, uh, so they all work together, and they're literally right on top of each other. So you can understand if the tendon's getting pinched, the bursa could be getting pinched. So quite often, you may have both. It really doesn't matter which one you have. You were going to do similar treatments, as you'll see in the future. Exactly. But uh, some of the common, I guess I have holding this one here, Brad, to show. <laughs> what do you got there, Bob? Well, I was going to show that here's a muscle, and it becomes a tendon, and the tendon attaches to the bone. That's I just wanted to show that. Right. So he's holding the scapula, which is right the here. The shoulder blade. But the muscles... You know, are on this model, which they are not here. Right. And they show the rotator cuff specifically. Yeah, and they show this is a really wide tendon. I don't know if it's really that wide. Yeah, that's of the uh, infra supra uh, infraspinatus and Terry's minor. So, yeah, well, the supraspinatus is up right here. Yeah, yeah. This is Terry's minor, Terry's major. Right. Yeah. But the Terry's minor is part of the rotator cuff. Right. Yeah. We're having discussions. Yeah, well, you know, you always got to So what are the symptoms? You're going to possibly have pain and swelling on the front side or the side mm -hmm. of your shoulder. You're going to have pain and weakness a lot of times with these actions, like lifting forward, right. which is flexion. You, usually when you get right around in here. Yeah, you'll get that pinching. Um, it could, again, be the bursa or the tendon. Mm -hmm. It may hurt going out to the side. Yep, and also reaching behind mm. your back like this. Yep. Any one of those could be a problem area. You might hear a clicking sound. and I think there's a roughness on the tendon, yeah. and, and that's that could cause that clicking sound. There, there could be some arthritic problems in there, depending on your history or your age. Yep. There can be a lot of things going on in your shoulder simultaneously. Exactly. Uh, difficult to lift objects, obviously, because that muscle, again, is... Uh, uh, narrows up to a tendon and the tendon is affected so it's going to hurt when you mm -hmm. lift objects. Sleeping on the shoulder makes it worse yeah. which almost every problem makes a, sh a shoulder problem worse yep. if you sleep on it. So we're going to show you s three self-tests. Um, we did these already for impingement but these are very similar. Right. So the first one you're going to take your hand let's say this is my painful shoulder I'm going to take the hand of that and put it on my opposite shoulder and just lift the elbow like this. If that hurts that could be an impingement or right. it could be tendonitis bursitis. You can add a little overpressure on the elbow. Yep. I'm going to grab a chair, Brad. Okay. Because we're going to talk about if you want to do one where you actually stabilize. Oh, sure. I did this before. And before we go into further, make sure you do these tests on the uninvolved or the pain-free shoulder. Absolutely. And see how that responds. And then compare that. To the sore shoulder. Good point, Brad. I forgot to mention that. So you're going to put, I'm putting my shoulder blade. You want to show the shoulder blade again? Yep, so we're looking right at. Right here. That's leaning up against the chair. That kind of stabilizes it. Right here. Yep. And then I'm going to lift the arm up like this. Again, this is the painful arm. I'm going to lift the arm. It just really jams the shoulder and it, it impinges it even more. So if this hurts, again, a sign of impingement, a sign of bursitis, a sign of tendonitis. Yeah, and if you look here, you can see what's going on. It it just uh, takes and kind of squishes, not technically speaking, but it impinges and uh, causes that 
problem become magnified. And it's just, if it's positive, meaning painful, there's a good chance you have that. Yep. The last one is, this is again, one I mentioned on another video. I haven't really used this one before, but it makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. So you put your, thumb, your, your arm out, painful arm out, turn the thumb down, palm facing away, grab the wrist, and just pull it down to the opposite hip. So are you resisting with this no, hand? No. J just bring it just down. Bring it down. Okay. So it, again, that's kind of jamming it here, jamming it up here yeah. right at the shoulder again. Right. So there is, you can also check for tenderness. I definitely do this when, when I'm working yeah. with somebody. What I do is I know right where to go, but you can follow along the collarbone here with your hand. You that's want me easy. to show my... That's probably the right easiest there, one yeah. to find. Yeah. So I, yeah, you can start right where that bump Notches, is there, right yeah. where the... Uh, external notch. Is a st very good. The sternal yeah. notch right there. Yep. Follow that across. That bone will lead you right to the end of the shoulder yep. and then kind of go under the bone a little bit and just start rubbing right yep, there. Yep. Right there. And if that's sore, that's, you know, where it's going to be sore with bursitis and tendonitis. You might bring the arm back a little bit while yep. you're doing this because exactly. that exposes it a little bit more. Now, so you bring it back. You may have problems finding this. I remember in PT school, my palpation skills were poor, and now it's, like, very easy. Yeah, but, now you go right to it. Right. And, so, you know, if you feel like you don't know what you're doing, that's okay. Just Do we're going to mention painful arc syndrome? You can do painful arc, and you can also even a little bit of resistance. Like, let's say you take the arm out like this, and you give a little resistance. Right. It might give way because the tendon is, again, is sore. Irritated. But, yeah, talk about painful arc. Painful arc, very common, particularly with uh, impingement. T tendonitis. Tendonitis, yeah. yes. So it's simply that when you go up, it hurts. But if you work through it, then you get up about to here, becomes pain-free again. Then when you drop it, it it's painful yeah. here. And then down here is better. Painful arc syndrome, good uh, positive sign that you do have that impingement. Tendonitis, tendonitis and impingement. Or impingement, yeah. I'm not sure with bursitis. It seems like bursitis kind of hurts all the way up, doesn't it, wouldn't you think? <sighs> yeah, you know, I don't get too hung on my how Yeah, the, I don't because the exercises and the treatment are so similar. I just remember a doctor I worked with years ago. He was a physiatrist. who is basically a physical therapy doctor. Right. He just, he, he told me this when I was a new grad. He said, most often you're going to find both. Right. It's probably tendonitis, bursitis. We don't really know. And and you can just assume it's both. Yeah, their symptoms are so consistent. They're literally yeah. stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Uh, they're going to get better if you treat them right. Treat them right. So thanks for watching.